Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the silt stitch, which is a very uh, pretty stitch. It has a very subtle texture to it and it's a two row repeat. Um, the two row repeat is made up of basic stitches, so it's an easy stitch pattern to catch onto and one that's going to grow fairly quickly. While it is not the same on both sides, both sides are very pretty, making this a great stitch for projects such as blankets and some of those larger items. So today for this tutorial I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and you can find the free written instruction for this crochet stitch on my blog which is linked directly in the description of this video on richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, while you're here take a look around don't forget to subscribe and uh, have fun. Now our stitch today is worked in rows so we're going to start by making a slip knot and then make a foundation chain and our foundation chain is going to be a multiple of three stitches so today I'm going to chain 21 and 21. Once you have your foundation chain the desired length you're going to begin by working one double crochet stitch into the fourth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, and four. Into that fourth chain, work one double crochet stitch, and then double crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of your chain, chain one and turn your work. I'm just working my final double crochet now at the end of my foundation chain and I chain one and turn my work. For row two you're going to begin by working a combination of stitches into your first stitch. So you're going to begin with a single crochet stitch and then work two double crochet stitches both in the same stitch. So all three of these stitches will be in that first stitch. Single crochet followed by two double crochet. You're then going to skip the next two stitches and into that next stitch work a single crochet and two double crochet stitches. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two stitches into the next stitch, single crochet, and work two double crochet stitches. Repeat, skip the next two, single crochet, and two double. Repeat that all the way across, and when you come to your final stitch, you're going to work skip two and work a final single crochet. At the end of my row two I'm coming to the end and uh, you're going to work in the top of your turning chain because it counts as a stitch so that's where you're going to work your final single crochet. Skip those two single crochet stitches and work a single crochet stitch into that final stitch in the row. You're then ready to chain three which counts as a stitch and turn your work. We're now going to simply work a double crochet and do each stitch across. So skip that first stitch because you have a chain three coming out into that next stitch. Work a double crochet stitch. Double crochet all the way across, chain one and turn your work. At the end of your row three you're chaining one and turning your work. 
And you're now going to simply repeat your row two. Single crochet followed by three, uh, two double crochets into that first stitch. Skip two and repeat. And that's all there is to working this pattern. You're going to, for the rest of uh, the pattern, simply repeat your rows two and three for as long as you would like. And that's all there is. So thank you so much for joining me on this uh, stitch tutorial on how to crochet the silt stitch. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe and be sure to come back next week for our next stitch tutorial. Happy crocheting. Bye.